Okay, equations are one thing. If I want to put a graph in, okay, it's not inbuilt. I need to open up the grapher. So I'm going to use Spotlight, grapher, there it is there. Open it up, it comes up with this what type of graph do I want? It's going for a default 2D graph, so it's just a 2D default. Choose this, here's my graphing process, already started equation for me. Let's go for x equals y squared. A nice old parabola there. No problem, I've graphed it. Now obviously you can add in a new equation. x equals the square root of x. There's that. Just for fun, new equation. See, I might want to do the inverse. So I can do the square root of x. I think Carol's video inverse, showing me whichever one I've got chosen is the darkest one at the time. I click on the actual graph itself. No equation is selected, it says. But they're all there. Easiest thing to do is go copy as tiff on top there, come into here, edit and paste. And there is my graph. And is an image. Can resize it to make it smaller or bigger. But there's no double clicking to edit it. It just thinks it's a picture, it doesn't know what it's a picture of. If I want to change that graph then I'll need to delete it and go back to grapher. Obviously in here I can need to save that if I want to use it again, I can save that. Something that graph I can open, I can save that. But I don't particularly want to at the moment. I can edit any of the graphs and do whatever I wanted to do with them. Okay, there's a problem. It's gone off the chart. Can change to zoom in or zoom out. Can zoom out a bit like that. Notice the short key what it is, zoom out. So now you can see the other one there had moved up to the five. I can just change it by double clicking on the axis which is a bit easier and I could say I wanted to go from negative 5 to 20 say OK and there we go we can fit the graph a little bit better I could now edit copy the TIFF paste it back in make those changes in the original Word document that's graph you can see the little symbol down here